welcome back to my channel so today I will just um, recap a little bit of a few things that um, had happened in the month of February as well as in March I do have a lot of upcoming videos so stay tuned for that so this video was done in mid-February and as you can see there was a nice some nice white snow um, and then by going to get Hazel I noticed that she's not even stepping in the middle of her paddock she's just going all around the sides um, so I decided to just play with her a little bit outside um, she's usually really good she likes to chase me and uh, that's how we play As you can see, she, once she gets a little too excited, she goes a little bit further away from me. Um, and that's how uh, usually we've been playing. Uh, we don't play a lot together, but sometimes it's always nice to just spend some time and bond together. Um, the snow was really, really beautiful and fluffy, so we had quite a blast. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's um, going almost to her knees for how deep the snow is. And it's just like some nice great white and fluffy snow so who wouldn't like that so we had a little bit of a fun chasing each other around here as you can see she always always comes back to me if either I call her or um, just naturally she'll just follow me anywhere she's a bit like a big puppy um, and that's almost how horses play a little bit come on Hazy Kudos to all my uh, dog loving friends or horse loving friends for this nice recall here. So I'm just calling her and she comes right, right to me. So no issues for the recall. I hope I have some little bonus point. Um, yeah, so after playing in the snow, we're just getting back inside. I put already her... Um, little boots on um, these are thermal boots i have made a video about them uh, which i will probably put uh, the link in the info bar at the top um, if you ever want to see it um, so those lovely boots what they do is they actually help um, just by bringing the heat back to her leg um, to kind of warm her leg up uh, her tendons um, and take care of all of that good stuff so they're a bit like the back on track for those people that, that know it, but this one is the Green Hawk version of it. Um, and I just put them on just because um, Hazel had been lame for the past week prior to this uh, video. And then um, I decided that I want to do a nice lameness test just to check um, and see if she's getting better, or is it getting worse. Um, and see if we need to call a vet but before I make her run um, I decided to just put the boots get her kind of ready um, and then we'll be good so you guys can see um, that's usually what I do when I come to the barn is just assess what she looks like um, so I just go around make sure there's no scratches no uh, anything underneath the blanket um, it is fairly cold I must say um, it was February and February has been a little rough um, we had a lot of like um, very cold days um, so it's it took a little bit to warm up but um, yeah so it's really really cold I was also assessing to see if she needed another blanket as you can see this one is getting really filthy um, so it's time for us to just change the blanket um, which I will do uh, right after so she'll have a new warmer blanket uh, that she would be able to to wear so as per usual I always remove the tail bag um, and undo the braids on their tail um, I do this once a week every single week um, it's really important to rebraid um, the mane and the tail uh, just to keep it nice um, and maintain so if you are planning on braiding your horse's mane, your horse's tail, please um, make sure you check up on it and redo the braiding every single week. 
So I always also change the tail bag because um, although it's made to kind of contain and keep the tail tidy and neat, um, sometimes there is a little bit of urine on it. So you really want to um, change, change it every week and keep it clean and maintained. to keep her warm you don't want to like undress your horse all together you just want to go by um, each um, side so if you're doing the front you just fold it in half and same for the back so um, that keeps her at least a little bit warmer while uh, I'm doing this and as you can see it's a little tangled this week um, it's definitely due for another tail um, wash but um, Due to the very cold temperature, I think it was like at least minus 20, 21 that day. So due to that temperature, I'm not gonna do any washing or cleaning or anything like that. I'd rather go um, and do the tail wash when it's actually a little bit warmer. to not forget to brush out the duck of the tail um, just to clean the debris out of there um, you don't want to go like crazy and just you know start raking the whole uh, hair but just make sure that it's tangle free and that's taken care of um, and not forget about it there is definitely a lot of dirt and grime that just sit on that duck of tail and what it does is it just creates irritation and then your horse will have a tendency to rub their bum against their stalls or something like that and it's going to create a nice bald spot for you so you just want to really make sure that you're taking care of that part of the tail as well. So once that is set and done, um, I usually take my nice um, Icky Fuse product here. Um, it's a conditioner um, that I use to just put in the, in the tail and in the mane every single week. Um, and what it does is it just really gently cleans the hair um, when you can't give them a shower, of course. And also um, helps detangle a little bit. Um, not that her tail is really tangled anyway, but it's just mo mainly for the moisturizing effect um, that I'm using it. Um, it's called a Rehydrins, um, and it is um, part of their uh, wonderful line of products. Um, so you'll see actually me using it uh, throughout in a lot of videos. So it is just um, a bit of their product with some water that I put in a, straight, in a spray bottle. And I use it for the tail, the, the mane, and also the body, really important. Um, the way I was able to keep Hazel's skin moisturized during the, body, um, during the winter is by just applying this product all over her body. Um, usually she used to create a lot of um, like rashy or irritation right at the top of her back. Um, that's due to like obviously uh, putting the saddle on as well as um, you know the blanket rubbing her along her spine all the time. So um, I was really really pleased um, by using this product because there's no loss of hair um, and there's no like balding or um, like basically rubbing marks uh, left and then we were able to keep her skin moisturized to moisturized and in good condition the whole winter. So once the product is applied and I brushed it a little bit, I just go and over and just um, like dry the excess of it. Um, that's just to kind of keep it uh, the moisture level to the minimum but it also removes all the the urine out of the tail just because she had a little bit of urine on her tail bag and sometimes it goes through and therefore um, you have to also remove that you don't want to keep urine into their tail As you can see her tail is nice fluffy and clean 
um, and now it's time to braid it again um, you can see that her tail is really really well maintained um, I think I, I must have done um, at least one tail bath um, a month all winter and then I every week of course the tail bagging uh, with a different tail bag and um, that's how I maintain it all winter and it looks really really good um, it's a great opportunity when it is winter and they're not like swishing their tail all over the place to just bag it um, and it helps to just prevent hair loss um, hair breakage and, and such um, so that's why I'm actually doing it myself um, even though my my coach and some other um, people in my barn are just wondering why am I putting a tail bag on my horse and um, Obviously, this is something that um, you would see mostly in the Western disciplines. But, you know, beauty is beauty. And so sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to um, make your horse beautiful and keep her nice. So once it's braided, I'm putting back a new tail bag here. Um, and for those of you that are wondering how the tail bag works and how do you tie it and such, um, I will also put a little link at the top on the info um, button link uh, for those of you that don't exactly know how to put a tail bag on your horse. Um, so like that, you'll be able to see uh, how I do it and how it holds basically for the whole week. Once that is done, um, I usually spend a little bit of time just um, uh, curing her um, her skin and uh, just going over brushing. Um, that really helps with like blood circulation, um, like cell cell regeneration, um, and it gives it a nice massage. So, as you can see here, Hazel's yawning. She loves 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 to be brushed. Um, so I usually do it by section. So I'll just uncover the back and then uncover the front, and go with that. Um, and just go through her whole body um, that is about mid-February and I could tell um, that she was starting to shed already for the new season um, which is a little bit early, early but um, this year happened to be really really warm so once the grooming is done uh, I'm just walking her hand walking her in the arena and I'm about to do the the lameness test um, unfortunately I put my camera on the fast forward setting for some reason so I apologize but yes so what happened there is she has been off of work for two weeks and as you notice in her paddock she's not really moving quite a lot so she had a lot of energy even though it's a lameness test she wasn't too lame like lame enough for me to be concerned if she wanted to run so if she wanted to run I just let her run um, and like that she would be a little bit more manageable because if not she starts having so much energy she's like twitching and she's a little bit harder for um, me or other people to handle her so um, I just did a little bit of lunging and then this clip here actually is from the week um, after where I'm just getting ready to lunge her and just see her condition but as you can see her body condition is actually looking quite nice um, and that's why I included it. So thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad that you're able to join us today. And then stay tuned for more video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.